Mike here, Christian Victory Blog. Glad you could all join me. I'm getting a lot of messages uh, asking me why I don't just draw this route on a globe Earth. Actually, that was already done for me. My first YouTube video as a YouTuber was picked apart by someone called Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit had taken my video, put it on his channel, uh, made fun of it, uh, just tore it apart, and in turn, his followers came to my channel, mocking me, telling me how stupid I am and how I need to go check out Mr. Rabbit's video. Okay, so I did. I, and, and, and I'll just, I want to make this clear. I'm not, you can't insult me, okay? I, I, I walk in love, and I understand why people get upset, and I try to understand the reasoning behind them being rude. So it doesn't bother me. It's okay. So I went over to uh, Mr. Rabbit's channel checked out the video he made against mine I made a video sent it back and in my video I included the flight trackers and all the information I studied weeks and weeks before even making my video to Tiger Dan concerning the azimuthal equidistance map my point to Tiger Dan was that the azimuthal equidistance is a government map it's not a flat earth map used for all flights flight route projections from center point it is extremely accurate it's also used for radio tower control now, I never revealed what's going on with this flight route, and for a very good reason. I just let Mr. Rabbit ramble on about absolutely nothing, talking about weather patterns and seasons and how the routes go, depending on the weather. That's a bunch of nonsense. 540 flights cross the Pacific Ocean every day. You can't bunch them up here or down here according to the seasons. Fly, uh, planes fly from 30,000 to 38,000 feet above weather patterns to save fuel where there's little or no atmosphere or turbulence. And uh, you can go check out how flight routes are made yourself. Go ahead and Google that. They're made either by the airlines or they're contracted out. The uh, flight tracking softwares, uh, Flight Trader 24 and Flight Aware, track these planes closer to the southern part of the map, closer to Hawaii. Now, why would the plane land here at ANC Anchorage, Alaska? Truth is that these tracking softwares are wrong. And I will show you that here in a second. The flight is flying along and it gets picked up by these towers, TPE, Japan, and once it crosses the Pacific Ocean, everything loses track of the position of these flights. According to the Oakland Oceanic ODPS document, there are no satellites or little, very little satellite activity above the Pacific, so these planes are never picked up by any satellite that would supposedly be in space. Okay, welcome to... Oceanic Modernization, or Oakland Oceanic, the tower that picks these flights up over the Pacific Ocean, provocative issues facing the National Air Traffic Controller Association. In other words, this document on the Oakley, Oakland Oceanic system does not speak too favorably of it. Basically, the system works by picking up radio frequencies, high radio frequencies from plane to plane, and they broadcast all the way back to Oakland. And this system is designed to keep planes from smacking into each other, causing sensational news stories. This is the area Oakland Oceanic covers, the ZOA, this area here, once flights go across the Pacific Ocean, all ground-based radar towers lose track of them. And so the system is in place not to track where the plane is at, but to keep the planes from running into one another. I did not provide this information to Mr. Rabbit. I was hoping he'd pick it up his own, on his own and talk to me civilly. However, he was unable to accomplish this task. He simply said I did not receive his correction. So now I am going to have to correct him and show everyone what's going on with this flight route. This flight route is tracked longitude and latitude across the ocean to a point. TPE, which is the Taiwan Tower, picks up its takeoff point. Picked up by DNA. Um, I'm not sure where that tower is at. Possibly some, maybe possibly Japan. But once it crosses a certain point in the Pacific Ocean, everything loses track of these flights. 
all of the flights. Because there's no GPS system or space satellite system picking up these flights, they are kind of on their own out there, and they're only tracked concerning correlation to one another so they do not run into each other. Once the flight gets in range or is tracked by Oakland Oceanic, and once again, these are radio frequencies bounced from plane to plane, we can see that we, it had a longitude of 43 and a latitude of 160 once this tower picks it up here. It magically drops the plane 700 miles in less than a minute back on its predefined flight path. And these are what the flight trackers show us. So actuality, these planes are flying much uh, on a much more realistic model of the Earth along this path here. Hawaii, and I've checked over 50 of them, never picks up this flight at any time. So now you see why this woman who was having a baby would land at ANC Anchorage, Alaska along this flight route. This flight route never gets close to this area down here as projected on a flat map. Okay, so Mr. Rabbit thinks Flat Earth is a big psyop, a distraction, a uh, astroturfing campaign to take our eyes off the real truth and what's really going on. And what's really going on in the real truth is that Lady Gaga might be part of the Masonic Illuminati order, along with the X-Men, Transformers, uh, Avatar. Even, yes, even, uh, and I'm sorry for you Bud Light drinkers, but even Bud Light's part of this satanic Masonic order. So, White Rabbit spends a lot of time alerting us to all these extreme dangers that can happen to us while we're watching something in a theater, and at the same time trying to debunk Flat Earth. He believes Flat Earth is a distraction. Couldn't be true. It's not possible. The Earth's a spinning ball. And so while he's doing that and he's putting down the Illuminati's and he's exposing the Masonic Matrix, Mr. Rabbit has absolutely no problem at all with these guys here. I've not seen one video destroying these guys. And here's the thing. This, these guys here, according to uh, Mr. Rabbit, is they're, they're okay. These guys are safe. They're not lying. These guys could never lie. They're always telling the truth. All right? But once these guys get into Hollywood, oh, watch out. They're liars. They're, they're satanic, and they're uh, conjuring up demons. But if they're wearing astronaut suits, they wouldn't lie. They're perfectly safe. They're harmless. And so Mr. Rabbit doesn't understand why we are saying the things we're saying and pointing out the things we're pointing out. Because he simply believes these guys are okay. And I got news for Mr. Rabbit. These guys are far from okay. And so while he's dabbling around in Hollywood and make-believe, this here is real. Because they faked the earth shot they proved the Earth was a spinning ball when, in fact, they knew for a fact the Earth is flat and does not spin, and we live in a closed system. But according to Mr. Rabbit, these guys would never lie, would never be able to pull off something like that. Even though Satan controls Russia, controls the uh, United Nations and the European space program controls our space program, controls China's space program, and Satan controls Russia's space program, all part of the beast system. It is inconceivable to Mr. Rabbit these guys would make anything up. So, he doesn't understand when somebody like me sees a picture from the ISS, from Scott Kelly, this was tweeted, of Earth here in a mountain range. But if you just glance at this, this photo is fed to it. They are tracking numbers now, people. We're getting close to the end. But if you just look at this, is there something wrong here? Let's take the mountain range of, of the Rockies here, for example, on this globe Earth. How many of these mountain Rocky ranges can you fit around here? 
I counted about 30. When you look at what Satan, uh, Satan and his NASA shills are feeding us, you'll find out that their picture of the ISS, you will only fit about 10 of these mountain ranges on their version of Earth. Yes, it's a CGI Earth. These stars are fake in the background. You can check them out in Photoshop, but Mr. Rabbit sees absolutely nothing wrong with this. But if you, we expose this, and say, hey, they hid the earth from us. If we do that, then all of a sudden we're a PSYOP in some astroturfing organization. Mr. Rabbit did a flat earth debunk kit using the sun and shadows of the sun. He said that the sun is 93 million miles away. Here I have a real photo of Earth from a weather balloon taken with a non-fisheye lens. As you can see, it looks a whole lot different than this tiny, small Earth, NASA fed us to see which one of us would notice and which one of, and the numbers of us that would simply go, oh, what a cool picture, and there is pages of that on there. So they still have their legions of zombies, but they are right now trying to find out who notices these discrepancies. Here in this shot, you can see the sun and the moon in the same visual um, perspective. That's normal even on a globe ball, so there, there's nothing abnormal here. But when I take out the light levels, you can see that the sun leaves a very well-defined spotlight here, and the moon leaves a very well-defined outer radius glow here, proving the word of God or the Word of God proving, once again, that it's correct. The moon gives its own light, and the sun gives his own light. Mr. Rabbit would like you to believe that this is 93 million miles away. There is no way it's going to leave a spot on the Earth at 93 million miles away. I'm not sure what he's thinking or where he's getting his math, but it's probably because he believes these guys. This Masonic society, they're, they're the nice ones. They would never lie or cover anything up. And so, when we draw a line around, we can see that this, uh, this moon gives an angle of light projecting out this way. That would be impossible for the sun to be a reflection off the moon giving the light at this angle. And it would be impossible for the sun... To be reflecting off the moon giving this light if it was 94 million miles away behind the moon. However, Mr. Rabbit doesn't see these things either. He just takes these guys' word that the sun is 93 million miles away. Because these guys aren't doing videos for Hollywood, so they're okay. You know, it's only when they do videos for Hollywood they're they're dangerous. As you can see, <clears throat> the sun gives a very defined spot, is not even close to a million miles away. The moon gives off its own light at this at, in a greater radius of light than the sun actually gives off. Now, not as bright, because once you get the luminosity balance, the sun is a lot brighter than the moon. But the moon covers more area. It's not as focused as the sun is, but it does give its own light. I'm not sure why Mr. Rabbit thinks we're a big distraction or why we are some astroturfing psyop to distract the real truth that Bud Light will actually uh, take over the world. I'm not sure why he thinks that or why he ignores the real danger and what NASA's, NASA is doing, he completely ignores the Masonic order concerning things that are deadly serious and important. I'm not sure why he does that, and I'm not sure why he would take a YouTuber's first time video and try to pick me apart. I'm not sure why he would do that either. But I can tell you that it's becoming very apparent he might not be who he says he is. Because he's ignoring a lot of Masonic symbols and signs that he spends great detail picking apart in movies. He's ignoring them all around him in real life and important things. Like the way God said he made the earth. 
And if you are a follower of his, I appreciate uh, all you people. Well, actually, I appreciate all you people on his site who are who have been following him, coming to my site and email me. I've been getting a lot of emails from his people concerning Bible scriptures because they just simply don't like the way he reads the Bible and take it in a non-literal sense to make uh, these guys out to be right and God to be wrong. And he's also disabled his subscriber numbers on his uh, subscription count because they're leaving in droves. But White Rabbit, you don't have to lose everybody. All you have to do is pay attention to what's going on around you. Stop being so prideful and listen to what we're saying. This is my Christian Victory blog. I am so glad you guys joined me. If you have any questions, please post or get on my chat channel. God bless.